I heard this story, and I don't know if you got tired of hearing this story. I heard it about three or four times. You tell me if this is true. As a kid, in your home, uh, with your, is it your grandparents? No, my parents. Your parents? The grandparents, both of them was there too, though. Yeah. yeah. You, you would uh, take loose wire out of the screen window, screen door. Yes, sir. And with those wires, you constructed your own guitar and a box, a cigar box, I don't know. Well, you couldn't fang it because you'd break it. All I could do was just strum, do this. And I first started with a rubber band at my ear. And if anything I heard that would make noise was, was, was pleasing to my ears. And uh, what, how old were you? Four, five years old? Um, Somewhere around there, four, five, six, seven mm -hmm. years old, with the rubber bands in the screen wire. But this is a, a lovely thing. So at that age, uh, you knew what you wanted to do. You knew about music, and you, uh, it's, it's your whole life. That's a wonderful thing. Thank you. And, and did, did, they kept saying that the, they, when, when the house would fill up with insects because you had ruined the screen door, <laughs> that they had a conference, and they said, well, maybe we better get the kid a guitar. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> so we could so go easy. Now, did that happen as well? No, they couldn't afford a guitar, Dave. Oh. You know, we did. We uh, did go get this guy every Christmas, and he had uh, an acoustic guitar, and we, uh, they would have a gallon of wine and uh, a case of beer at everybody's house. And it would go from house to house till everybody fall out drunk, and then I would get the guitar, his guitar, and try to <laughs> figure out what they were saying. <laughs> You get to Chicago somehow, is that right? And then President Clinton told this, this story about you and a sandwich. What was that? You and a salami sandwich, you're in Chicago, and you're just at the end. It's, there's nowhere else to go. It hasn't worked so far. Um, does that ring a bell? Yes, sir. What was that? Uh, well, it used to have to pay phones. And if you had a dime and call your phone, which I left with my mother, the dime would come back. And I tried to borrow a dime, and the mm -hmm. guy said, I'm not going to give you a dime if you feed her. A uh, hungry dog, he won't hunt. Yeah. So <laughs> he wouldn't loan me the dime. And somebody called Muddy after Otis Fresh let me play the song by one of the late great guitar players, Guitar Slim. And I played things I used to do. And somebody says, No way you could be hungry and can play like that. But then nobody knew who I was. Uh -huh. And so they called Muddy. And before I left I Louisiana, they say, Be careful there because you can get mugged. And I didn't know they called Muddy the Mud. Mm -hmm. So he came up and slapped me, and my ears was ringing, and they said, that's the mud. I said, oh, my God, I'm getting mugged. <laughs> 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 but and you went, you, he gave you a sandwich and, and said, he here, I, let me give you the salami sandwich. Yes. You're not going back to Louisiana. Was that what it was? That's exactly what he said. And when, he, when, I, when, he, when I found out he was Muddy Waters, I told him, and I wasn't hungry. I said, if you Muddy Waters, I'm full. Mm -hmm. And I meant that, yeah. you know, because that's who I went there to do this, watch them play.